Hi everybody. I have a cool science thing that I want to tell you about today. I just learned about these weird moths that are called bagworm moths. And what's really cool about them is that they build themselves a little house. So these moths are a whole family. And so they live all over the world in different varieties, just like cats live all over the world. So the family of bagworm moths live all over the world. And depending on which species you're talking about, they build a different type of house. Some of them, their house just looks like a little blob, but some of them are like the picture that is at the beginning of this video, where their house looks like they built a teeny log cabin. So the way this works is these moths, when they're in their cat, when they're in their larva stage, when they're like a caterpillar and they're just blobbing around, they're in serious danger of being eaten because they're basically a big, giant, tasty blob that is not very fast. And so instead of evolving to be fast, they've evolved to build themselves a hideout. And the way they build this hideout is by collecting certain stuff. And different species collect different stuff. Some of them collect pine needles. Some of them collect certain sticks. Some of them collect whatever they can find and aren't picky. And they take that stuff and they glue it together with the silk that they would normally use to spin a cocoon. So think about what we know about the life cycle of a moth or a butterfly. They start out as their little egg and then the egg hatches and then they're their little larva stage, which is the caterpillar. And then they hang upside down normally, not always. And they form a cocoon with the little silk that they like basically spit. And then they transform in there into the butterfly or the moth. Well, with this species, they use their silky spit stuff to glue all of this stuff onto their own body, kind of like they're building themselves a turtle shell. And then they keep blobbing around. They do this before they're ready to transform. So they'll have a little house that they built themselves, and then they'll keep inching around. They'll stick their head out the top and then use it to pull the rest of their body along, kind of like an inchworm. And whenever they start to get a little bit bigger, they'll grab more supplies and stick them onto their little house that they've built around themselves. And then eventually the males will transform into a moth and mate and then their life ends. And the females, what's completely insane is they don't ever properly transform into a moth. They will mate and lay eggs and basically stay a caterpillar. They technically transform, but in their transformed stage, they don't have wings and they don't have proper antennas and they don't have like a proper mouth. They just have like the beginning of a mouth. They basically will be a caterpillar and then mate and then lay eggs and then die and decompose all inside of the little house that they made. And then the new eggs, when they hatch, they'll turn into new tiny caterpillars who will crawl out and build their own little houses for themselves. Now, I'm going to link a whole bunch of pictures of these down in the comments or the description section for you to check out. But some things to keep in mind when you're looking at these little houses is that depending on where they live, the bagworm moths can be between one centimeter long, which is about as wide as probably your thumb, up to 15 centimeters. 15 centimeters is like half of a ruler. It's about six inches approximately, like this far. Some of them can be huge. Imagine if you saw this little like log cabin plobbing its way along a leaf and it was actually a caterpillar living inside its own fancy log cabin. What's really neat is they don't learn this from anyone. All of the information that they need to build their little forts is built into their brains. It's part of their instinct. Some of them have an instinct that is so specific that it will tell them to trim the little pieces of branches into just the right length so that their log cabin will form a spiral at the top. I mean, how cool is that? There are some other animals that do different crazy house building stuff that you might want to investigate. I'll leave a couple notes about that in the description too. But think about these guys, check out some pictures, and then think about other ways that animals protect themselves from predators. This is a very extreme form of camouflage. There are other ways that animals camouflage too. Some of them, their body just naturally looks like something else, like those stick bugs that look like a stick. See if you can find some other animals that camouflage and maybe do a little bit of writing or drawing or something like that about them. But anyway, bagworm moths. Very cool, new random science information of the day. Have a good day, everybody. See you around.